Welcome to your channel, which has a special touch in teaching the German language, which you have always loved, since it is the most accurate source of linguistic information. I'm Donald Miller. Ich bin Sophia Friedrich. The German word of the day is Werfen. Its shape also changes to Wirft, warf und geworfen. Werfen has several meanings. The first meaning is to throw. Sie hat den Ball 20 Meter weit geworfen. She threw the ball 20 meters. The second meaning is to throw yourself somewhere. Sich aufs Sofa werfen. To flop down on the sofa. Sich vor ein Auto werfen. To throw yourself in front of a car. The third meaning is to cast. Einen Blick auf jemanden werfen. To cast a glance at somebody. The fourth meaning is to give birth to. Die Katze hat fünf Kätzchen geworfen. The cat has given birth to five kids. As you can see, we can summarize these four meanings in one meaning to throw carelessly. In German, there is another word which also includes werfen. But it is connected to Ent Entwerfen Its first meaning is to design Mode entwerfen To design fashion Ein Kleid entwerfen To design a dress The second meaning is to draw up Ich habe ein Konzept zur Rettung der Firma entworfen I have drawn up a plan to save the company These two words are taught in all institutes up to this moment separately, and all the vocabulary of the German language is taught separately, as if there is no relationship between the words that share a syllable, which makes it difficult to memorize the meanings of these words. Up to now, we have been quoting the translation from the Cambridge Dictionary. But now, here is the addition from Mr. Ferras Almanier, who discovered the secrets of this language and the relationship between its syllables, as he explained in previous videos. He confirms in our example today that Ent Wherever it is found always gives one meaning, which is to remove. Just as Schuldig Means guilty and Entschuldigen means to remove the guilt from the guilty, to pardon him, where the meaning becomes to apologize to somebody for something. And then is added to turn the adjective into a verb, and just as Führen means to lead, and Entführen means to remove the one you lead, that is, you drive him away to kidnap him. So Entwerfen means to remove the carelessness implied in careless throwing, to negate carelessness. So negating carelessness is design and planning, because carelessness suits neither design nor planning, because they both need a lot of care. With this touch that Mr. Ferros Almanier adds to the explanation, you can easily remember the meanings of the words, because he respected your mind and gave you the real reason behind the scenes that controls the structures of German vocabulary. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen.